Okay, so it's the start of summer and we figured we would put a video up maybe outlining some formal Western wear and what to wear, when to wear it, some do's and don'ts and just some thoughts that we had. So let's get going. First, this is an example of your Sunday best or something you can wear to church. You can also use this for kind of an informal dress attire for a wedding. Some things to note is a solid shirt. You certainly can wear a pattern shirt, but this definitely kind of takes the formalness up a little bit. Then dark pants, dark clean pants. You can start your pants. In another video, we can talk about that, but for the most part, nice dark pants. Um, as we go down, you can see that I'm not wearing boots. That's a misnomer that you always have to wear boots if you're wearing a hat or a belt, something like that. If you're gonna be standing all day and wanna be comfortable, there's nothing wrong with these Oxfords. They work really great, they look good. Um, to, uh, the, I guess the last thing is kind of what you're wearing around your waist. You can wear a belt buckle, a normal belt. This belt has a little bit more you know, silver on it, so it looks pretty good. The thing to note though, is if you don't have a belt buckle, that's not the worst thing. Don't go out and buy one just for this occasion. Wear what you are comfortable wearing that's gonna speak volumes to, to whoever you're around. And then lastly, is what I'm wearing on my, on my head. In some of those instances, it might not be um, appropriate to wear a hat, so be mindful of that, whether you're inside a building and you need to take it off, think about that. But this would kind of be that normal look. If you want to dress this up just a little bit more, you certainly could add boots, or you could change the hat that you're wearing to a felt, a clean felt. Um, I'll go ahead and switch those out real quick. So you can kind of see just a little bit of a formal difference because this is just so much nicer. It might take some of that summer feel out of your dress and make it, you know, look a little bit better. Um, but this is just kind of the average Sunday or informal wedding look. So next is the next level up, and this would be maybe dressing it up a little bit more for a nicer wedding or a nicer meeting. A couple of things to notice and look at is one, a solid shirt. Once again, especially when you put a jacket on, a solid shirt will look a lot better. Um, you can wear a buckle or anything uh, that you want there. You have some choices here. You can see now I'm wearing some boots. Uh, once again, kind of taking up the level of dress there. And then you can use pants, make sure that they're dark, or you can use dress slacks. You can use dress slacks, make sure they're not the same color as your blazer. And then you can, if you choose to do that, wear a tie. You can certainly wear a tie without wearing dress slacks. It just looks a little less formal, but then you can add a tie. This is something, kind of an outfit that you can use for a lot of different stuff. It is definitely a step up from your normal just Sunday wear. Last is your formal wedding wear or fancy dinner party, gala, thing like that. It's totally acceptable to wear a cowboy hat while wearing a suit. Um, I guess a few things to point out. One would be have your nicest boots on. This would be a good time to shine those. In another video, we'll show you how to do that. And then always wear a felt when you're wearing a suit. If you wear a straw, that's certainly fine. But this is kind of an occasion where you should wear that. Um, a couple other things to note is a solid shirt. White shirt is almost always the best thing to do when you're wearing a suit. And then if you want to dress it up even further, go ahead and throw on a tie and you'll be the best dressed dude around. So this is kind of the last look, very formal cowboy look. Okay, now you've seen the three different types of formal Western wear. Hopefully this will help you make some decisions on what you're going to wear for the weddings or special occasions that you're going to go to this summer. Anyway, good luck.